Hello to Karwaja. Well, it started off from my grandfather, and it started at a real er early age. I used to collect little model cars, and I used to spray paint them and detail them and do all that stuff when I was a little kid. It used to make my mom mad because I would actually do it on her on her living room floor. <laughs> and then there, from there it grew. I worked in my dad's automotive shop for years and years, and by the time I was 11, I had saved up about $3,500. He said, what do you want to do with the money? I said, I want to buy my first car. So by the time I was 13, I bought a 1969 Z28, my first car. Oh man, you know, there's so many stories and there's so many that uh, have gone and slipped through my hands. It'd probably be easier to talk about the ones I didn't get, you know, than the ones I did. Actually, one of the cars I always wanted was a, a Corvette from the movie Corvette Summer with Mark Hamill. And I found the car, I went to the museum, I actually sat in it for the first time, and I offered the guy $50,000 and he wouldn't take it. And, and I, I started at 30 and went up to 50. And then I finally had to walk away, yeah. Oh, yes. Um, of all the cars, my favorite was a 1965 Chevy Impala. Aww. And the reason why <laughs> is because I had never had a 65. Um, most people at that time were doing earlier 60s. And I fell in love with the 65 because of the triple tail lights, but the modern, a little bit more modern body style. Uh, and it was a stick shift with red interior. So it was my favorite car. And Jeff accidentally sold it and has felt bad ever since. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's interesting because we do. Um, he likes every car. So even if it has some faults or flaws, he'll find a reason why he needs to buy it. So I'm usually the one who tries to like look at it from a monetary aspect. Like how much is it gonna cost to paint? How much is the interior? And he loves to buy cars that don't even run. And I keep telling him, one of these days, you're gonna get burned, meaning it's never gonna run. It's gonna need a whole new motor. So yes, we often argue, but I do have to say that when I really challenge him on a car, it pushes him to actually make more money on it. So he usually sells it for more, and then he says, see, look, look, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Everybody tune into Karaja, or check out Auto Maniacos on the History Channel on Mondays, or if you know us from the US, the Car Chasers.